Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And as always, if it's your first time here, big thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Now, if you could click that little subscribe button, oh, you'd be number one in my book. Here we go again. You would think something designed to run on tracks. Tracks that we've had for years. That we pretty much per perfected since they came out. Since that golden spike was driven in uh, Utah. That we seem to just not be able to keep trains on the damn tracks. And this is from the uh, Twitter uh, channel page, whatever you want to call it. Insider paper. Breaking emergency crews are at the scene of a uh, BSNF train derailment that caused 5,000 gallons of diesel to spill in Washington. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, that weird town. But really, we can keep trains on tracks, or is the conspiracy part of me saying that now... Bear, bear with me. Everybody knows that I'm a big conspiracy theorist, but I'm also a free thinker. Remember when Biden brought soldiers from Ukraine over here to train? How that was all mainstream news. We're going to bring Ukrainian soldiers over here to train. Well, did we ever send them back home? Or are they still here? Or you want to go way down the conspiracy theory rabbit hole. Who's all been coming through our southern border? You know, because uh, if you really think about it, if we go to war, which it's looking like we're eminently going to go go to war, trains are a vital part of defending your country during a war. You can move a mass amount of stuff really quick with a train. Look up any of the other wars. Trains are crucial. And we can't even keep an old freight train on the tracks. We can't keep it from spilling out diesel fuel. Seriously? I can go to Harbor Freight right now and buy me a yellow fuel container that's for diesel fuel. Yeah, you idiots out there, the yellow ones are for diesel fuel. Not for urine or whatever else you want to put in it. And turn it upside down and it won't leak. But this uh, freight train rolls over on its side and spills 5,000 gallons of diesel fuel. Now for those of you in the back. We all know what a 55-gallon oil drum looks like. So let's take 5,000 divided by 55. That's almost 91 55-gallon barrels of oil. Or for those of you that are way in the back with your head up your ass, 5,000 divided by Five. You know, the five gallon can of gas you got in your garage for your lawnmower? That's 25,000 five gallon cans. Yeah, kind of puts it into perspective, right? Now, everybody's going to be like, oh, it was Obama, it was Trump, it was Biden. It doesn't matter who's to blame on this. Because when you start rolling back regulations, so, you know, we can get more business in the good old U.S. of A, shit like this starts happening. And if you were a president and you didn't put more regulations on this to stop stuff like this, then you're just as guilty as the others. And on that note, Thanks for watching.